in order to, you know, excavate all of this area. Uh, am I getting enough iron, for example? Am I getting enough lapis? Am I getting enough redstone? Am I getting enough gold? Um, I have no idea what to tell you about the gold. However, I can tell you this much. The, uh, the fact that this is my third Silk Touch pickaxe since I started recording should tell you that, uh, ooh, oh boy. Yeah, and swapping it around is too expensive. Um, okay, well... In that case, it looks like I'm switching to a new pickaxe. Uh, this one needs silk touch. Okay, well, let me make use of the slime that I have. Uh, deposit any ores. Doesn't look like I have any. Uh, oof, boy. Tough crowd, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just store that in there for now. I'm not actively making use of these stones. Uh, these stones, however, the actual stone, I am making use of. Therefore, I want to make sure that I provide all of the stone that I can whilst making sure that I additionally I'm not getting overly bogged down by things like cobblestone. Um, I need iron. I need the crafting table. Craft iron pickaxe. I'll craft two. Because I can. Craft planks. I crafted too many planks. Um, here, let me... Uh, uh, here. I have an extra plank. There we go. Um, I need to borrow this lever lever. Because I need to borrow some experience from this furnace. Fill up the hoppers while I'm at it. Yep, level 26. And then one item later, level 30. I'm decently sure that's not normal. Level 34. Yeah, just a smidge sure that's not normal. Just, just a smidge, a, a tiny bit sure that that is not normal. Level 37. I am now leveled up enough that I can just get both of these. Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4. Uh, well, that wouldn't help that one very much, but... Let's see how much that's going to cost. Okay, so that's not going to cost too much to repair. Um, I 
thing is, I kind of need more iron, because it didn't really give me a valuable pickaxe. Uh, it kind of gave me a bit of a meh type of pickaxe, you know? Not the best type of pickaxe. Silk touch, efficiency 4. That's better. Just regular silk touch, also better. Um, let's see. I suppose I can merge these two. Craft one more pickaxe. Grab a few more levels. Lapis. Pickaxe. Fortune. Efficiency four. Well, uh, you know, I have enough to make that Silk Touch Unbreaking Efficiency 5. Uh, I shall name it Subscribe. It shall be a good backup. I have a backup fortune pickaxe, uh, in addition to this fortune pickaxe, um, oh, I guess I have another one. Yeah, if I had efficiency three, actually, that works as well. There we go. Uh, I can just apply these. Now I can subscribe. And on this one, also making it a maxed out pickaxe, subscribe. Hey, we even got the anvil sound effect. Now, it should be noted that these two are maxed out for everything except for mending. Uh, therefore... Um, let me actually deposit this extra silk touch pickaxe, or sorry, withdraw the extra silk touch pickaxe because I'm about to need it since my current silk touch pickaxe is at its limit to the point where it's not even really worth enchanting it with efficiency 5 uh, because of the fact that if I do it will probably instantly become too expensive to even repair it um, 
I should deposit more stone into there, and then more stone into there, and then I can actually grab the experience out of there, whilst grabbing all of this material out of here. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah. I have a bunch more material ready for me to build with. Uh, I still have not yet uh, moved over my pumpkin farm. That's going to be something that I need to work on. Uh, however, I'm going to want to make use of a lot of smooth stone for that. Therefore, I don't want to go too absolutely over the top with it. Um, yeah. Um, there is a lot of mining that needs to be done, there's a lot of ore processing that needs to be done, specifically smooth stone needs to be made. Um, yeah, there's only really so much that I can do all at once. that cobblestone. Now I want to go digging even more. There we go. That's what I was waiting on. What I'm planning on doing is I'm going to start the digging from the other direction as well in order to make sure oh, sounds like there's some sort of amber alert um, in order to make sure that I get an appropriate number of uh, an appropriate number of progress, an appropriate amount of progress on my excavations. Uh, I want to grab roughly two and a half stacks here. Um, this will allow me to have a more built up centralized location. Uh, even if I do not have my base set up, this will at least give me the uh, foothold that I need in order to really start building out a lot more. And this will also allow you, the uh, viewer, to see more of what I'm planning with this entire build. As you can see, there is a lot of smooth stone in this wall. Uh, excuse me. Plan for lot 
lots and lots of this smooth stone to get used in lots of my base. Therefore, I will need to expand my furnace setup. Uh, unfortunately, that means I'm going to need to build hoppers, which is going to very quickly drain my resources. I will very quickly find myself running out of iron, specifically. Um, not much to be done about that. I just gotta go out mining more iron. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, now I want to go and just start filling all of this in. Oops. Now I can start excavating down here. This will allow me even more of a lovely view of everything being all filled in with smooth stone. <laughs> well, that was a bit unexpected. Not too unexpected, but definitely a bit unexpected. This entrance. Yep. Let me put this back into place. Pick that back up. Go ahead and eat. randomly bump into a cactus. Just kind of casually let the majority of the slimes just kill themselves against cactus. <laughs> being that the majority of the slime will land on the cactus, which kind of deletes the slime. Uh, it's fine, though. in the general direction of all of these slimes. Gathering up all of the items, gathering up all of the experience.
looks like we got a few, a few large slimes. Uh, up above, that's fine. Oh, don't do this to me. Come on, fingers. Why? Why you do this to me? There we go. run out of smooth stone to deploy on my person. I shall need to restock back at the base. Retrieving more from the furnaces. Or more specifically the barrels which the furnaces feed into. set up some form of magma block system for all of these slimes. Uh, I plan on doing that specifically uh, around the time when I start actually uh, filling in that bottom floor is when I plan to fill in the magma blocks. I'm going to need to visit the nether for this. Uh, there's there's really no two ways about it. Uh, I just gotta visit the nether because I need to craft a... Uh, I need to craft a lot of magma blocks, basically. Uh, except you can't really craft magma blocks. Therefore, I just kind of need to just gain access to a lot of magma blocks to uh, collect up and harvest. Um, I have once again found myself in possession of a full stack of cobblestone. Oh boy. Okay, well. Once again, deposit the diorite, deposit the andesite, deposit the granite. Uh, not necessarily in that order. <laughs> deposit the dirt. I deposit the stone if I could. the slime which has now gone up to a fourth stack of slime because we have another stack up in the area in our base where we store our redstone components uh, let us actually pull this all the way back to here. We are going through a lot of smooth stone. And it really is worth it. It's really paying off. You can see all of this smooth stone. Really looks nice. Uh, I might include a few extra pumpkins just to light the thing up a little bit better. But it looks really nice. Uh, it's very much a worthwhile investment. I just need to go about getting it all situated. There we go. Oops. And 
that's not what it was supposed to do. That's what it's supposed to do. Anyways, I'll take care of these gigantic slimes that have decided to attempt to assault me very poorly. Okay, that guy ended up killing himself on my thorns. That's a medium, that's a medium, that's a medium, and that's a medium. There. Now we just have a bunch of little slimes cure for having a bunch of little slimes all over the place is to just swing wildly because they literally have one hit point of life. Uh, they die extremely easily, extremely quickly, with little to no effort at all involved. Now, I can very easily fill in all of this, allowing me to have a very simple area where I can just fill in all of the different parts that feel as though they are not functioning well enough. Really not. What made you think that was a good idea? Chasing me down in the area that was too low for you to actually traverse. You die, and then 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 you die. I'm about to hit level 29 just from fighting slimes. So awkward. Okay. Now, this is making things look a lot better down here as well. I know I'm probably going to dig this out and turn it into a uh, express path down type of situation, but I also might uh, rip it out and turn it into a rail system. Uh, both options sound equally as good, actually. Uh, I could use a good rail system. I could use a good way to quickly traverse my way down to the bottom. Um, I might do both. I might do neither. I have not yet fully figured that out yet. What I have figured out is that this guy is a bit of a pushover. Because you can just hit him once with the sword and then bap him once with a cod or something. You know, just tap him with your fist. 
And because you did 11 damage with the sword, which is five and a half hearts of damage, uh, followed up by catching him on fire and then smacking him with your fist, you deal a lot of damage when you do that kind of stuff. Um, there's just no two ways about it, you just deal a lot of damage. Okay, it seems that my storage space is starting to run out, which means I am nearing the five hour mark of my video. Which means this is a good time for me to mention to like, comment, subscribe, helps me, helps the channel, tells YouTube that this is the kind of content that you enjoy viewing, that uh, the type of... <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my D&D players letting me know that they're awake and bored. <clears throat> I'll have to let them know that that made it onto YouTube just barely. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, as I was saying, this is the type of content that you enjoy having YouTube suggest to you and your friends, and YouTube should suggest more of it. Uh, therefore, it really does help to leave a like on the channel. It helps to subscribe to the channel. It helps to turn on your notifications so that you get notified of any new videos posted by my channel, uh, to my channel, for my channel. Uh, after all, it's just me here, just Blue with Blue Nexus Gaming, uh, playing some Nexus Craft, I believe I called it. Uh, yeah, Nexus Craft. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, if you want to join my D&D campaign, again, leave a comment. Uh, it really is the best way to get a hold of me. I have a Patreon page as well, if you want to check that out. It's in the About section of my YouTube profile. Uh, alternatively, I believe there should be just a link basically posted all over my YouTube page. Just, uh... I don't put the link in the videos. I probably should. I might edit those in later. Uh, therefore, if you're viewing this far enough into the future, there's a good chance I've already attached the uh, the link to my videos. Uh, or sorry, the link to my playlist uh, in the uh, info section of my videos. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you uh, if you want to see more of this type of content on my channel, uh, again, let me know. I enjoy like I enjoy reading through the various comments that I get. I try to find something worthwhile to say in response to all of them. Uh, some comments, there's just not much to really be said, you know. Uh, oh, that's what happened. Okay, so as I was mining the gravel, specifically, the gravel nudged me out of the occupied block into the bedrock earlier. That's what happened. Uh, if you're going to include this in a bug report, make sure to mention that. Uh, it seems to be nudging the player when it is falling, uh, which it should not be doing, as you're supposed to be able to suffocate from gravel. It shouldn't be moving you around. 
uh, as you're digging it out, uh, you know, that is, that is something worthwhile of a worthy bug report. Uh, if you feel like you want to see more of this content, uh, let me know if you think you might know of a, uh, of a decent, uh, selection of Minecraft mods that you might enjoy watching me, uh, explore. Uh, I enjoy things such as Applied Energistics, where it makes managing inventories a lot easier. Uh, if someone knows of a way to get the Applied Energistics mod into Minecraft Bedrock Edition for Android, uh, let me know, because I'm very interested in that. That I would do a Let's Play series with, uh, for sure. I do not have much to talk about at the moment, really. Mostly I'm just focusing on the base, getting everything in working order in order to make sure that I have everything prepared for when I have to go fight the end dragon, for when I have to go to the nether, for when I have to go do all of this stuff that's probably going to get me killed repeatedly. Therefore, I want to make sure I have it all prepared and I don't have to worry about any of this stuff at all while going through and making sure that everything is, you know, properly organized and situated. I want to have all that already handled, you know. Uh, I want to make sure that I have enough food. I'm going to need more food soon. Therefore, I want to make sure that I have... Oh, hello. Okay, now these guys are going to burn for a while, and then they will get angry, and they will spit at me. And the spit will trigger my thorns enchantment. Which causes them to spit at each other, apparently. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Thorns enchantment just triggered an endless loop, basically. Bucket of pufferfish, a fern, sea pickle, glowstone, small drip leaf, and a red mushroom. Glowstone's nice. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really have much use for this guy. I'm waiting to see if he pulls out a potion, then I'll clobber him again. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh well. Um, it seems my inventory was a little bit more full than I thought. I shall have to return for that leather. Uh, I won't be doing anything really off camera this time around, except for picking up that leather back there. Um, mostly I just need to sit around and wait, really. Uh, there's not really much else to do. Um, deposit the leads. Okay, now I'm going to actually pick up this minecart because I'm going to take this minecart back to the base. <laughs> Pick up this leather. There we go. Now I can craft up anything I really need, but I don't really need to craft much of anything. Mostly I just need to smelt a bunch of smooth stone. 
just melt a bunch of regular stone into smooth stone. And that's really all I need to do. I just need to basically idle uh, AFK down here in my mine in some fashion that will allow me to uh, safely avoid tons and tons of slimes from spawning on me whilst simultaneously allowing me to process more of this ore. Uh, yeah, not really much to be done about it, it just is what it is. Uh, let me see what I can do about polishing these stones. Granite, yep, we've got granite. Diorite, yep, we've got diorite. Deposit the granite, deposit the diorite, now to polish the andesite, now I deposit the andesite, I get to deposit the cobblestone over here. Now I just kind of wait. I don't really need anything else. I just need to wait. Um, yeah, I, I think I'll just do some waiting off camera. I'll just... Uh, oh, you know what I can do? I can go and check on 